the NDLA people went to his apartment and, well, he decided to do live. We went on Instagram live and people saw all, all things, all sort of things. And then, well, that went ahead like that. A rapper, N6, okay, so it's a media personnel, yeah, OAP rapper and everything. N6, yeah, you guys know N6. So it was like, ah, ah, now, wow. Skits maker during the day. Um, drunk. <laughs> Drunk peddler at night. I'm like, well, it's not. It's 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 not um, something that we should um, try to involve in. Yes, drug is not good. Drug is not good. But then people were like, no. Why would why would um, a fellow media um, practitioner, um, a fellow celebrity, um, say such? A word. Why would, why would he utter such a word that it's not fair? And that's where um, Bayou, you guys know Bayou, yeah, Bayou is um, another skit maker. It was like, look, the respect I had for, that, the respect he had for N6, that N6 just lost the respect he had for him. Because you know Bayou is another um, skit maker. He's known. Bayou is well known as well. Yes. Everybody, everybody. We all know Bayou. And it's like, look, N6 shouldn't have uttered such statement. That he shouldn't. He shouldn't at all, at all, at all. And that for that reason, all the respect. You know, when you use all, uh -huh, with emphasis on all, uh -huh, all the respect he had for um, N6, and six, I just lost them. That we should, come on, we should support. And I, I understand, I understand where it's coming from. That we should support um, our colleagues. But then, but then, when you're wrong, you're wrong, right? And when you're right, you're right. That's it. So it's good to always say, to not involve, do not get yourself tied up, you don't get yourself involved in any of these um, illegal things. If the country says, don't do this, don't do it. But then, moving on, moving on. So, um, Mr. Macaroni, <laughs> I also just, ah, oh God. Once I just get to my head and I'm like, ah, she You have go to a public school. Uh, you, should not, you should not be singing. Okay, so, Mr. Macaroni is like, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, we cannot be scared of everybody in this country now. Why? I would say that, uh, we cannot be scared of everybody in this country. This one, yes, um, police will do their own. Yes, you see, they will do their own. Now, so he's, he's just more, he's concerned about the safety, you get it? about the safety of citizens. He said Nigerian police go do their own. Yes, you see, go do. NDLA, go do their own. Small time now, if it be traffic warden, we go come break our door for middle of night to oppress and harass us. And I said, one of the videos recorded showed an officer calling one of the suspects small Yahoo boy. So apparently, the suspects are no longer suspects in the eyes of the officers. They have already been tried and convicted by appearance. How is this fair or just? I'm talking about this. There was a time um, I was, okay, so I, I bought a taxi, not this colored taxi, Lagos colored taxi. Yeah, I bought it, and then while we were going, we were to make a U turn, and then the cabman saw these police guys and he said, ah, oh God, no go again. Th that was his exact word. He said, oh God, I no go again. And then he, said I should come down. So I should light from his vehicle, he's not going again. So I lighted from the uh, cab and then I tried to walk forward a bit. These guys, these police guys came and said, eh, you are under arrest, you are a Yahoo boy. And I'm like, I don't understand. They said, you are a Yahoo boy, eh, you, are, you are into drugs, you have done this, so you have packaged all these things and you've put in the uh, vehicle, in the cab. So you've told him to go, Abi, you told him to go with it, that you come and block him later. That's how these guys put me inside their bustle. And I'm like, ah, this, what, is, what is happening? 
So I don't know why these guys they they just assume. I think one of the things is you must not be fresh. That's it. And it's not as if you are fresh like that. Yeah. I'm like, I was shocked. I was shocked. They even, they say, I said, okay, please, I'm heading somewhere. Let us go to your station so that we can settle all of this. They wasted, wasted my time. I think after 30 minutes, they now say, eh, you can go. Please, people, we should be careful. All right, so he said, we don't even see most of the oppression and brutality that Nigerian youth suffer. We see some only because the person is popular or has enough courage to make a video. A lot of Nigerians have suffered greatly for nothing. I'm pretty sure that the, um, the, um, the boss of these people, this particular unit that went to invade this, the general's house, they will see to it, they will investigate, let investigation start so that they will know if they are, um, they've committed any offense or not. Ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'll go on a musical break right now. When I come back, I will continue. Don't go nowhere, guys. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. <laughs> 